Get ready to step into the mind of not only a captain, but a future coach. I'm Athletes Unlimited reporter Savannah Collins, and I spent the start of week three with Nas Hillman. The week as captain for Hillman doesn't start at the draft. It begins the moment she thinks she might be captain for the upcoming week. I really try to gather my thoughts, look at the teams that the people who've been playing, look, think about who I've played with, how that works out. If I don't get this person, who do I get? Just a lot of talking about that. I knew Kelsey was going to go first. She's probably going to get a big, so I will get my guard. And it's really strategic. Like, obviously, you want who you want, but you also have to look at who the other captains would want. This isn't Hillman's first rodeo leading her own team. She's a back-to-back -back captain, now number three on the leaderboard. And she's working for the second week in a row with facilitator Simone Augustus. Understanding the game, like she has a wealth of knowledge, like how she wants to attack certain opponents, where she wants her teammates to be, uh, how to utilize their skill sets. Like that's amazing for such a young player to have that type of insight and knowledge and actually knows how to implement that in the game. Hillman may be one of the youngest players at AU Hoops, but you wouldn't know it from the way she runs her team like a pro. Yeah, I'm really excited about this team. Um, I think last week, me and Coach Simone, we really talked about what we needed more of. We needed more depth. We needed more um, people at different positions that could play different positions and put them into really good spots where they can shine. No, I'm excited. We can get out and run and we can defend. Like, that makes a difference. And then here, we got three people who can shoot. Like, y'all can do a bunch of stuff. If you want to curl the first one, 40, you want to get one from Lexi and pop. Legs, 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 get them up, get them up, get them up. Maybe I should swing that to you so that it's like real good timing so that I'm not holding it. Can we go, we, go, we want to go through that one more time because I do want to get it to, right. Hey, get them out, get them out, get them out. Nine, get another one, get another one. Ah! Move to our strengths, not a whole lot of plays but a lot of movement. It's hard to guard movement. You, you would think she's been in the league like 10 years and you know been playing for a very long time, but she hasn't. And that's the beautiful thing about it because think about where she's gonna be in five years or 10 years with that type of uh, mindset and maturity going into the game. While she's made adjustments week to week, there is one constant on Hillman's teams, Alicia Gray. The pair's friendship off the court and now connection as Atlanta Dream teammates has made her an automatic number one pick at the draft. Oh, I mean, it's great playing with Nas. I mean, she's a very smart player. I mean, it's kind of hard to remember that she was just a rookie last WNBA season because she's just so wise beyond her years. But, I mean, playing with Nas has been great. I mean, we've been able to build chemistry and be able to build it onto training camp and then for the season. But I like the connection we have with each other on the court, and it's definitely a lot of fun playing with Nas. As someone who knows him and well, I had her fill me in. Is there anything she's learned about her as a captain? Oh, nah, it's like she got that quiet nature, but when she need to get, when she need to turn up, she'll turn up. I mean, I seen it in, in the game and I was like, nah, it's like, oh my God, I haven't seen that side of you. So, I mean, yeah, when not, if nah's got to turn up, she'll turn up. But overall, I mean, she's a, she's a real nice, sweet individual. The Blue Squad's first challenge of the week was Team Smith. Like last week, the two's meeting was tight match. There were 14 ties and 14 lead changes in the game. In the end, Team Smith beat out Team Hillman on a late basket by guard Laisha Clarendon to secure an 86-86 victory. Yeah, that's so important. I think I drafted drafted those type of players who really want to keep the energy high and continue to go into the next quarter or the next game with a lot of energy and just have a positive outlook. I mean, you get three games in a week, so if you're down, the first one's going to be a long week. In the post-game huddle, the sentiment amongst Team Hillman and their captain was still positive. They'd had fun together, and they're a great team. Now, learn from this game and turn the page. Um, we're good. We're going to bounce back. I mean, I love this team. A lot of great energy, and they're not going to hang their heads down. So look out for us for game two.